Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get Bluetooth data logging on your OBD1 ECU. Um, all you're going to need is one of these, which is an HC05 Bluetooth chip. You can also use the HC06. I found that the HC05 was cheaper. Uh, this only cost me about $4 Canadian. Um, you can pretty much purchase them anywhere like eBay, Amazon, AliExpress. So you just have to search up HC05. They don't work right out of the box, so you do have to do something before you can actually get it working, which is what we're gonna go over in this video. Another thing you're gonna need is obviously you're gonna need something to connect it to your ECU. Um, the, these wires are also relatively cheap. It cost me about $2 to purchase a, a pack of these wires. So all in all, it costs as much as buying one of these data logging cables that I showed you in the previous video. Um, however, you still need one of these data logging cables in order to program your Bluetooth chip because these don't work right out of the box, right? So you're, you're going to need one of these cables just to program it. So we're going to go over the steps right now on how to program this and get it working and hook up to the ECU and I'll show you guys how it works. Alright guys, so right out of the pack, you're going to get one of these chips. It's wrapped in plastic so you don't have to be worried about like, you know, touching it and static shocking it or anything. On the back here, there's a wiring pinout, as you can see. Um, these are what you're going to have to follow. The only difference is that you're with this cable, you're going to have to reverse the TX and RX. Don't ask me why. That's the only way I got it to work to be able to program this. Maybe some of the programmers out there will know why, but I don't. I'm not a programmer. Um, so we're going to hook up all these wires to here. We're only going to hook up four of them. The power, ground, RX, and TX wires. So in this... Uh, cable that would be the red black white and green wires All right, so to start things off you're gonna plug in obviously the 5 volt which is right here next is your ground Then Remember RX and uh, TX are reverse. So I guess white is the RX. So that would go into the TX slot green is TX which will go into RX slot and then now you're ready to hook it up onto your computer and program it. All right guys, to start programming this thing, you've already hooked up the wires to the um, FTDI cable that you have to purchase as well, because you need FTDI, some sort of FTDI USB cable to be able to program these. So as mentioned before, so what we're gonna have to do is set this in what they call AT mode. I don't know what that stands for, but it's supposed to go into AT mode and blink slowly. Um, that's when you're in programming mode. And how we're going to be programming all this is all through Honda Tuning Suite. So within your computer, open Honda Tuning Suite. They actually have a section in here where you could program these Bluetooth modules. You could program the HC05 and the HC06. I believe there's other ones as well. So once you've opened up Honda Tuning Suite, you go into your tools and under here, Bluetooth Programmer. Now within here, you can select the program, I mean the Bluetooth thing that you're going to use. There's HC05, HC06, JDY21, not sure what that is. Um, so to start off all this programming thing, you just hit next. This message will come up. So once that message comes up, stop there. And what you're going to do is there's a button on this little dongle. Push and hold on to the button and plug it into your computer. Let's find that USB port. Yeah, so plug it into your computer like so. And once it starts flashing slow, you can let go. As you can see, it is flashing nice and slow. That means it's in AT mode. Now you hit OK. Now you this pops up, you hit connect. Now this read button starts to pop up, so you hit read. Obviously, there's not going to be a version, so as it's reading, it's probably going to say no version detected. Yeah, fail to read version from HC05, which is fine. Just hit OK. And fail to read password. So they're setting the default password to 1234 because out from the factory, these th chips are not programmed. So you hit OK. The name is also set default. So everything is defaulted because it's a brand new chip. Nothing has been set yet. So now we're going to start programming it. So I'm going to start naming this thing Honda P28 data logger
And what you want to set the baud rate to is 34, no, 38, 400. That's what you want to set it. Leave it as slave, leave the password as one, two, three, four, and then you hit flash changes. Now the changes have, have been sent to the thing. It's been programmed now. Now you gotta restart the module. And once the re module's restarted, it's no longer in AT mode. You see it's blinking fast? That means it's no longer in AT mode. Now, what we're gonna do is take our laptop. We're gonna search for this data logger because now it's basically powered on. So with that, you go to add Bluetooth devices, add Bluetooth, and it's gonna start searching. You'll see that it'll pop up as um, Honda P28 data logger soon enough. Right there, Honda P28 data logger. So it's detected this thing. So you click it, type in the password one, two, three, four, connect, and you're done. This thing's paired with the computer now. So we know that this is working. The other thing you have to do is once you're in the paired Honda data logger, double click, or not double click, let's see here. More Bluetooth options, and you wanna know what COM port this is in. So Honda data logger P28 is in COM 11. So just gotta remember that, it is COM 11. So under more Bluetooth options, you'll find that. And you need to know that. So now it's programmed, you can shut that off. Now you've got to go into your options in Honda Tuning Suite, because we're going to use this as a data logger. You have to make sure that this is ticked off, Bluetooth data log on, and select your COM port. So right now we have COM port 11, so we're select COM port 11. Um, since I've already pre-programmed a COM 10 one, we're going to leave it as COM 10 to show you a demonstration because I've already wired this into the ECU but I will show you guys the wiring for the ECU as well on the spare ECU, the P06 that I'm using. But that's all there is to it. Uh, we will do the final setup once we wire it to the um, ECU. All right guys, now to hook it up into the car, I decided to hook up the one that I just programmed, which is this one. I've also 3D printed a holder for it. That way we could just glue it on the side of the housing here and we're good we're, or just double side tape of course um that way it doesn't short as you can see these these parts are exposed so i'll have it a little bit leveled up so that it doesn't actually short anything when it hits the ecu case so we're going to disconnect this from the cable now that we use to program and then we're going to plug it into here so we're going to plug it into the existing one and i'll show you guys the wiring i'll go over the wiring once i plug it in all right guys, so now this is hooked up. I've all uh, wired it all up. So how the wiring goes on here is that it is ground for the first pin, left to right. Then it goes uh, TX, then five volt, then RX. So that's exactly how we've wired it. As you can see, brown, orange, red, yellow. And then under here, the pins, it goes um, brown for ground, orange for TX, yellow for RX, and red for five volts. So that's how you would wire it. So it is different from wiring it to the cable for programming. This is wiring it for use. Now we're gonna switch over to the laptop and I'll show you guys how to turn this thing on. All right guys, so before we even get started, we wanna turn the car to the on mode to make sure that the data logger is, I mean the Bluetooth data logger piece is actually turning on. So I'm gonna to turn to the on position. It's on on. As you can see, it's blinking fast, which means it is on and it's ready to sync into your laptop. Now we're going to switch over to laptop view and I'll show you guys how to sync this up. All right, so with the car on on position, you want to make sure you find the, um, the Bluetooth. So remember, we want to sync it to the Honda P28 day logger. So you can see it's paired here that we did earlier and it is COM11. So now you want to open up a Honda tuning suite. As you can see, this is opening up, and we set that it, it was COM11, right? So now we're going to go into settings, and we're going to go into COM11. And you obviously have this checked off, Bluetooth data logging, 3400. Close this out. Now it's set up for it. 
Now you go into the day log, since your car is on on mode, just hit start. And then as you can see, it is Sometimes it takes a little bit, so you just gotta keep trying to connect. Com 12 actually. So incoming, outgoing. So we want Com 12, I think. Yep, on go outgoing is Com 12. So let's go reset that. Com 12. Close that. Now we should be able to get the log in. So you can connect. There you go. As you can see, this is set up. The O2 is right here. It's reading. We're going to fire up the car. I'm going to open up the garage and then uh, we'll show you the whole data logging piece. There you go. As you can see, the data logger is working. All these other pieces here were showing 31.75, ignition timing, O2 is at you know, 12.7. Ish. It's running a little rich, but this car is cold. As you can see, your fuel ratios and everything are, are actually this up As you can see, your fuel ratios are we're data logging right now. It's probably not the difference of nine percent, but it's just cold, right? And that's basically how you would uh, set this thing up. It's all set up now with the um, Com Port Twelve. On the 28 data logger that we just programmed. Alright, guys, so I've gone ahead and installed the other um, Bluetooth module into my P06 ECU. I've also reset it and called it uh, Honda P06 data logger. So that way it's in here. It's um, I've got one in the P28 as well. So, you know, now we both, both of the ECUs have data logging capabilities that's Bluetooth. Um, this is the ECU with the B emulator, if you notice. Uh, that's why I have to double side tape it on this side. But essentially, you can put it anywhere you want. You can extend the wires and put them up top if you want. But I found the most convenient way is just to put it on the side of the ECU. Anyways, that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope this helps you guys out. If you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe, and share my videos. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.